All right, yeah. people. Welcome back. More Diendo commentary. I am back with Diendo commentary. We have Stanzi. Well, we Hello. got Stanzi, and he needs to get in this fucking room. <laughs> I'm getting in there. I didn't see your message. It was like, oh wait, oh wait, oh, wait, wait. and then I checked Skype, and I, I saw the thing flashing. I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. black wings. Okay. Oh. So we have. He's got. He's using black wings, and I'm eating KFC. <laughs> there's there's, a, there's a, a chick. Lots of chicken here. I am not eating KFC. I do not like fried chicken. See, no, he's before not. Before you guys were like. <gasps> <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm I'm, a, I'm more black than you. So we have Archangel, one zero zero seven at ten forty five, and not Marquise Henderson. That this guy is not Marquise Henderson. He is everybody but Marquise Henderson. So um, not Marquise Henderson. I wonder what his real name is. I don't know. With a uh, twelve twenty four, of course, using Nakeros, who didn't win. Uh, you know, the United States Nationals. I I predicted burning this. I did. I really did. No one's gonna mm. believe me. I did. I was like, I was like, everybody's like Necros. I was like, no, I think everybody's gonna be hating on Necros. I think everybody's gonna, you know, be like, no, fuck Necros. And it's that obvious target, pretty much. Mm -hmm. It was obvious target. You know, everybody's gonna go after that. Your opponent cannot activate cards effects in response to the activation of a Necros spell or trap card. Right, yeah, he didn't. Then... He activated it after it was summoned. Yeah, so that's already resolved. But you still get your search. But these two are gone. Of course, it seems like. Black Wings run like 20 Icarus attacks because whenever I do it, they always get them. <laughs> Necros monsters you control cannot be targeted by opponent's card. Like, yeah, he cannot target. So, does that mean that he can't even activate the. Yeah, because there aren't two targets. There aren't two targets. He can't even activate it. Wow. Tribute mm -hmm. one Black Wing monster. So, you tribute it, then you target two cards on the field. Can you... Icarus attack target itself? Nope. Okay, so then he can't even do that. Mm hmm. Mm, popcorn chicken. Once you pop, you just can't stop. Mm. I, I don't know. All of a sudden, they added, like, the colonel himself into the commercials, and it started being really weird, so. <laughs> um, I don't see KFC. I don't think we ever get. I never see KFC commercials on TV. I don't know. They're weird. He's weird. He sounds like what you don't think he would sound like. He sounds like a straight up southerner. Well, yeah. That's kind of how you would, I expected him to sound anyway, South American. But he doesn't, he doesn't sound like an old man. Like, he looks, he sounds like just a straight up old man. He's like, mm. come chase my, my secret sauce. My chicken is sexy and juicy and delicious. So I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> that <what> I <laughs> like, I gotta sound, I'm gonna say, yes. I'm totally gonna, you, you just gotta YouTube search, like, the freaking commercials. Oh, like, God. And it's only been recently, too, like, these commercials that decided to add the Colonel in himself. And it's just like, Colonel's always been that entity where you see him, but you never hear him, and now you hear him, and it's just, it's just off. Off-putting. Anyway, I'm getting off stuff. I, yeah, why do I get the feeling that the Colonel would be like, to a little kid, be like, do you want to play the rape game? No. Good, you're already playing. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm getting off topic. I was talking about how I knew Burning Mist would win because I, I knew everybody's going to be hating on Necros because they were assuming that everybody that you know that Necros going to be the hot shit. Whoa, Kalus! Yeah, okay. ran right into that clue. <laughs> and right you see, that it. is why I don't mind uh, deck specific honest type monsters. Oh, you know what you don't I like those, uh, those But I don't like I don't like honest because it's to every fucking light monster ever. Yeah, that's why that's why I'm, when it, I when it came to predicting yeah. when I when those fake lists and they were like, I, you know, I actually honest want honest banned. I actually like it would like it banned. As a light not player, it's just not a healthy card and I play light decks. Yeah. You know, so eh. Yeah, uh, I know. And not only that, Honest can win you the duel. A oh, right yeah. timed Honest can just win you a fucking duel right outright. I yeah. mean, there have been times I've been playing against like, light decks. I think I faced like, light smells. I went to attack over a JD, because if he wiped me next turn, then he'd be able to fucking finish me off. And he dropped Honest. It was like, right, you've just won the duel. <laughs> In triple, you know Honest stacks. Yeah, I know it does. So. Just like Kalut and just like Crane and yeah. shit like that. God, Crane can you imagine? Crane can stack. you imagine if Bujin's triple Crane and then triple Honest? Yeah, Crane doesn't stack. All right. Well, because all you do is all you're doing is doubling your original attack. So once you do it, once, oh, yeah. you can't keep doubling. But Honest does stack. The thing that with those fake lists and they were like, you know, Honest at three. I'm just, you know, it makes me suspicious that not only is it 
unhealthy in general, but not even OCG has on set three. They still have on set two. We have on set two. So there's no precedence on that. And it seems like if they were going to move on they would have done it a long time ago. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's like, oh, yeah, but move on up to three when, you know, Teller Knights are still being, you know, up there I, and Star I honestly, Seraphs. I honestly don't think they're going to hit Manju and Senju too hard, if at all, over here because they got Sibyls coming out, haven't they? The Sibylla archetype, which is a ritual archetype. So it's like, why would you be hitting those just to hit Necros? Why would we not just hit Necros and keep them for the Sibyls? Because they don't really have... They have Searchers, but because it's like their entire Jets theme is it when it flipped up, you get the effect, then yeah, all their monster, their Searchers are like, if this monster's flipped, then you can search a Ritual spell, you can search a Sibyl Ritual monster from your deck to your hand. Like, at least Manju and Senju is like, all right, boom, boom, got it. Can, can we go ahead and pause and actually state that... <laughs> Black Queen's just beating this shit out of fucking Necros yeah. right now. <laughs> yes. Like what? <laughs> of course, Necros gonna go ahead and use that powerful graveyard effect. Oh yeah. I I have no idea. I have that for now. I just so I, much that so much of this deck needs to be hit. Yeah, it's just I don't know. I don't know. The only set presence I have is from OCG. And the and whole the whole thing of if too. we hit Tr if we hit Trish and the entire deck's done. I don't think so because I reckon. Do you want to know what I reckon? They'll start running if we hit Trish. What? Decisive armor. It's a thirty three hundred beta, and it can banish a face down a uh, spell or trap, or is it face down card? I think it's a set card. You banish. Yeah. It. Set card. Uh, that's that's pretty good. You know, especially what is decisive got, armor? especially when you've got Shrit. What is he like a machine? What is he a machine or what is he? Something like that. I think so. Damn. See the pro the yeah. problem the problem with uh, decisive armor over um, Valk over no not well Valk is fine too Valk is a spellcaster but uh, over Gung Trish now. itself is that Shriet you know yeah yeah just like banish search. Cycle and mirror. What? Huh? You're activating that on summon. So you Icarus attack, you gotta tribute your monster, destroy your card, destroy Necrosine You have to card. target you have to t yeah, he has to target two cards, but it doesn't have to be on his field. Yeah, though. it doesn't have to be on his field. He, he can right now go Icarus attack, tribute the bloody uh Shura, pop the unicorn and pop his face down. Oh god, the cold admin. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, fucking kill me now. Well. Destroy your set. That has to be destroyed. Yeah, it's mandatory. You yeah, have to choose to destroy it. It's not up to two, it's two exactly. Which, oh, might, which might be better for you, because then that card won't be on the field. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. Everybody stop. Everybody's bad, everybody stop, stop. Hold on. Yeah. They're all awful. Hold on. He they are all bad. Has to destroy his set card. Yeah, so you can't, you can summon Trish, but you can't go Trish with that, because there's no card on his field. What do you mean his spell is still on the field? What spell? No. That's a face down spell or trap. That's not the a spell. spell is still on the field. He activates summons and then the spell resolves. You can't inter. There's no can't interrupt. In the middle no. of when you place <laughs> it on the fucking no. Yeah. Why are these people so bad? Phase in between the sp spell resolution. Oh my god. Do you and know the I'm monster summon? And the sad thing is, these For people both have over a thousand. Chain, oh my god, two. <laughs> you activate these the spell, pay the cost, the monster summon, spell resolves, you respond to the monster summon, not to yeah, whatever... Yeah, to the fucking spell card being put on the field. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's not Solemn Warning. If it was Solemn Warning, you could fucking do that, because that's the card that would summon the monster. Yeah, you can do that in Solemn Warning, but you can't do that. You can't go Icarus attack the fucking card that's going to summon it when it's played. That's stupid. Yeah, weird. Do you, do you want to know yes. the sad thing? Is both these people have over a thousand rating. Yep. 
And not only that, but not Mark Henderson, Marquise Henderson, has 3,900 experience. Yeah, so we run that back all the way back. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes, he has to. you have to destroy your face down. You have to destroy your set card. Which means that he doesn't have Which to summon Trish. If he wants to, he can, but he won't get it to fact, so... Yeah. So. I mean, he could summon it as a beta, I guess. What do you mean just want to be fair? That's how See? it is! Look at that! Another Rickus attack! How many do they run? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay, there you go. Now everything is fine. God! Every single time we record D&D commentary, we always gotta babysit. <laughs> I know. You should call this babysit door commentaries. This week on DN babysit commentaries. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, now you just gave him something to trust you with. Yep. Um. What were we talking about? I don't know. I was say, why did you get shit? <laughs> you don't get shit or shrek. Yeah, the thing with Shriet, it's of course, you know, uh, you know, you, it counts as the full tribute and, you know, if it's a, what, you get to search for Warrior? So I guess yeah. Shriet would definitely be used more. Yeah, and not only that, but it's a Warrior itself and it's under level 4, so Rota. Yep, yep. You know, if the deck gets hit hard enough, I could totally see them doing triple Rota, triple Shriet, you know, because Rota can also search yeah. Colossus as well, so... Yeah, that's true. So it's like it's a double searcher because it searches your strip for the whole tribute, which then gets you your Brio for your searching, or it searches your bloody Colossus, which can search your rituals. Well, wow. you can still banish. Mm hmm. Yeah. Torrential He's is on the field. go summon Trish. Trish effect. And you Select chain it, but it's still on the chain. field. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still on the field when you flip it face up to chain. Mm -hmm. That's the issue. Yep, I, tell the whole I know I'm not off. the best Yu-Gi-Oh duelist on the planet, but my god. My god, even I'm better than these people. Oh my god, here we go again. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Just let him do it. No, oh my god. Uh, these no, people are bad. These people are so Trish bad. Would summon to field and activate effect to select targets. Then torrental. Oh my god! Is chained. Chain resolves. Resolves backwards. So. Trish would get Tor Dude, oh my game, god Torrent I know going on. Torrental but you would still banish oh my god Squat. seriously what the fuck <laughs> oh, Trish, would, Trish would be destroyed before its effect goes off on, on a fucking uh, trigger effect yeah, oh, yeah uh, fuck, is it trigger ignition I think it's trigger trigger yeah it's a trigger effect that's like Summon Stratus, Torrental. You don't get your search because I torrentaled and he's destroyed. Like, what? No, it's still on the field. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it still happened. Whatever, whatever. He's like, he's, <sighs> just like, I, he's like, I'm just getting it over because I'm going to win anyway. Okay, okay. You're both bad, and look at that rating. Look at this rating. See, it doesn't matter. People, oh, there's more pro people on freaking on DN. Mm mm. No, no, no. If anything, there's more scrubs on DN. <laughs> you know, they can just make up whatever the fuck they want because the system's not automated. Mm hmm. If this, this was freaking Depro, you could have turned until the cows came home. You still would have got banished. But hey, whatever. You want to bet that's another Icarus attack <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Icarus attack now, do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Should, go, into, you, that, then go into that lava chain, then fucking send that to Jin, then fucking go and get summon something, well, banishing the Jin, and then GG, you lose. If there's going to be any card that Necro should be hit, 
in this deck. It's definitely Unicorn. Unicorn needs to go. Mm. Not only does you need a course set up the Jijin lock because it's level four, but also the multiple uh, Kaleido mirrors with the you know the multiple heralds and the multiple. Swords. I'd say the Kaleidoscope really. No, you don't really need to hit Kaleidoscope because it can do stupid shit by getting out. You can send a fucking Quasar and then just drop two monsters. Like what? The problem with hitting Kaleidoscope too hard is that uh, you know you could kill the deck by hitting the rituals too hard. So, you, know. you still have Exo Mirror and you still have Cycle. Cycle should be hit. Yeah, I know it should, but... Yeah. And Unicorn should go they're, down they're, the they're, To be fair, they're, they're all dumb. They're all dumb. They're all they're dumb. All, but they're they're all the, mir the mirrors are the problem. The monsters are fucking bad, but the mirrors are the main problem, really. They're all yeah. dumb. Because they're all fucking essentially, they're all costless. Yep. They're, they all are. What does and their Exo, 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 ban Exo banishes, so that's costless. Cycle fucking, what is it, banish to summon something from the grave, that's costless. And then bloody uh, Kaleido, just send one from the extra to the graveyard to summon, that's costless. They're all fucking costless, and that's the issue. When you ritual summon, you should neg. I've no problem with ritual monsters being powerful, because the funny, you thing, have to have... And the funny thing is, cycle may be like the most balanced one. It's just you get to summon the necro's monster from the graveyard, but you still got to pay yeah. the cost and tribute from your hand or field. There's like yeah. a ritual or something. So it's kind of like oh, yeah. a weird ritual monster board. And so cycle is actually the most balanced one. Like Kaleido from the extra deck, that's costless. <laughs> Freaking uh, regular, uh, what's the regular one? Exo. Just, yeah, Exo. Exo banishing? Like, wow, all right. <laughs> you know, that's yeah, like a I freaking know. Like uh, dragon ritual, like a ritual miracle fusion, a, rit a miracle ritual. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I said, I could. I I say cycle could probably stay up at three. I don't care. <laughs> you know, go ahead and tribute from your hand or field to to revive from your graveyard. Yeah, that's fine. You know, but you know, if you if you lower unicorn, then what you do with Clido would be lessened. You know, I because unicorn because think... it's, no. it's just unicorn does a lot. You know. Not yeah. only does it, you know, lock out uh, extra deck monsters, but it's also the one that's chosen for Kaleido the most, you know, is being able to go ahead and uh, and uh, send the Herald, which will get you an additional search. And then also, Unicorn's you know, uh, effect from the hand to go ahead and pitch to add a Necros monster from your graveyard to your hand. So even if we hit Bryonic and lower the consistency of the deck, you still have triple uh, Unicorn, you know? Yeah. Like I say, it's just all dumb. <laughs> Although I, I actually, I'd probably, I actually I'd probably feel, probably, I actually feel, play. rather than hit, putting a shitload of necro stuff on the limited slash ban list, I feel that actually, if that is a, the supposed elite list, which I doubt it is, but going after the big, the big monsters, I think that's actually the better way to go around necros. So, well, rather than hit, rather than hitting the fucking Manju Senchus, which hurt all rituals, and rather than it fucking going, oh, we we'll put this limited and 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 this, this, this limit, just go after the big things. Then they got fucking no teeth; they can gum you to death. But well, what are the big things? Like the fucking the Trish, the Valk. Gung is more Gung is okay, but it's not like that bad, you know. I don't really see people ever fucking going, oh, I'm going to go play Gunk for that. They're just like, no, I'm going to play it to protect my Trish or whatever. You know, but I think the biggest, I think the biggest monsters in the deck are Trish and Valk, because people just go Valk, target itself to tribute, target a card, draw two and shit like that. You know, that's extra fucking drawing and shit. And people just go... Trish, 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 all fucking day. So that list that banned Trish, you agree with that? I think it'd actually be a better move than going, hit Mandrew, send you, hit this ritual month, hit this fucking Necros, hit this Necros, hit the fucking Rotors, hit the Shrit, hit this, hit that, hit this, like, no, that's that's really dumb. That's like, so you're going after everything when you can just go after one part, which kill, well, don't kill it, but it neuters it like you don't need to fucking go oh let's get rid of let's limit unicorn let's limit cycle let's limit shrip let's fucking semi limit or limit rotor let's go and fucking limit trish let's go do this and this and this and get rid of the manju and the senjus like just go after the big things then it's like okay you're so doing if we this ban trish 
If we ban Trish, I think they'd either go Decisive Armor or they'd go Valk. Decisive Armor, it's a 3300 beta, but other than that, oh, it can banish a face down card. Yeah, well, it, well Valk is powerful. And, and Valk is powerful because it lets you draw, but that's really what people do. They just go summon Valk, tribute itself, tribute, a ra tribute elf, another fucking Necros card, and draw. Yeah. All right, oh, that was a that long took, one. Yeah, that took 20 minutes for, for round one, like, really. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and pause and come back. Yeah. All right, round two. Okay, I'm back. So, if 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 we ban Trish, do you think they'd start playing Gungnir? Because Gungnir's actually pretty good. Gungnir, that's the one that can block a monster being destroyed, and it can, once per turn, go and pop something by... Can't it by discarding. Yeah, once we turn during either player's turn. Yeah, during either player's turn. Yeah, I could see him playing Gung now. Yeah. But I like I said, if it's like Trish is the stupid one. I mean, it's like, okay, sure, you've got the unicorn to search and stuff like that. Alright. I'd say if you want to like properly hit Necros, just go probably limit or ban the trash probably ban it really because yeah, you can't limit yeah, you it got, you, got you can't it. you can't limit it they have cycle you can't really limit it and throw the dark hole and they'll just they get it, yeah just attack this pretty smart oh that, damn that mistake what the fuck nigga you Ooh. search yeah now you can now you fucking typhoon. woman's useless Ooh, Ooh typhoon <laughs> Damn. I don't even think people were playing that. I think they side it. I don't know. I like. Tw I still like Twister better. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, I'd rather just go ahead and it be a quick play spell card and just, you know, pay 500 life points to pop it than just be like, oh, and if your opponent controls two or more spell trap cards and you control none, then you can activate this card from your hand, you know? It's like, oh, I can activate Twister from my hand despite that, you know? I don't mm. need my opponent to control two, you know, two or more spell or trap cards. Yeah, it's an unnecessary restriction. Yeah, it is, and I control no spell or trap cards. I, can I, I and I would rather uh, also play MST. Just saying. Of course, you know, uh, MST is the best. You know, there's no doubt about it. But I'm just saying, you know, what's the I'd say best? MST is the best. I'd actually say Galaxy Cyclone's like second best, to be fair. See, the problem with Galaxy Cyclone is it's spell speed one. Yeah, that's the only issue with it, really. Yeah, yeah, no, if, I, if I shoot with spell speed 2, oh, fuck me. That'd be beautiful. You know, it's, it's spell speed 1, so it can only be activated during your turn. You know, so you can have your Galaxy Cyclone, but, you know, if you're going up against freaking Cleese. Is he really arguing that because he controls 4, he can't play Twist Typhoon? It says 2 or more. Or more. You control all more than two. Thank you, you, you fucking scrub. Get the hell out of here. God damn it. I think he's, cause you, you're going against Cleese. You know? You go first. You open up Galaxy Cyclone. That's, you know, that's awesome. They go ahead and scout you. You gotta go ahead, Galaxy Cyclone, destroy a set. Then next turn, destroy this, you know, destroy this scout, you know? Yeah. Twist, Twister is just like, pay 500, destroy, face up card. I said, still, I think, just because it's a quick play spell card, like, the quick play spell card is definitely just such oh, a good Oh, here card. we go. Level chain, set the the gin, then fucking, oh, no, it's set All right. Um, but it's the same. You're the same. Oh, my God. Don't tell me you don't know how Exciton Knight works when you've got almost 4K experience. You're the same, so... You could summon Exciton, you just can't use the effect. Oh my god. See, I don't think I'm going to be able to inform him. Oh, he's just going to pitch Brio, but that's a search, so... He's going to even out. But... No! No! Oh. Excuse, excuse uh, me a minute. Uh, 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 excuse uh, me a minute. Uh, hang on, hang on. I've got to do this. Hang on. There we are. I've just killed some brain cells. Oh, I feel better now. I can watch this. All right. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, 
I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in like fucking since I made my last. Actually, no, since I last had Rio, I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, oh my you didn't know God. that you can do that. You didn't know you can go Brio effect, then chain, and then I, the, I, so, and interrupt no, the search. No, funnily enough, in a week I didn't. I, in a week I was off. I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that ruling came out. <laughs> How the fuck do you interrupt the fucking Brio effect with an Exiton effect? How the fuck do you interrupt the Brio? Oh. Uh, uh, and so bad. So fucking bad. All of them. They're both awful. And also, Mr. Bad Necros player, why the fuck in the why in the flaming fuck did you not detach the unicorn so if you get a cycle you can summon it back and then fucking oh wow. So wait, 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 you cut him in half but you don't attack over him? Why? Why are you so all bad? Okay. That's fine. Sure. Yeah, that and that ban list, so light imprisoning mirror uh, and that ban list, bloody uh light imprisoning mirror and shadow imprisoning mirror, what down to one I think it said? Yeah, like Hey, maybe, why? Like why, seriously. Like no 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 no. Like fuck it. Go ahead, make Necros even stronger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like. Well, I guess it would make the other decks stronger because they would be less. But not a lot of people are running the mirrors right now. No. Because the main deck is Necros, really. That's top deck. Wow, we took that to another game. <gasps> Damn. <laughs> Oh, now you want to attack. Not last time, but now you want to attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, makes sense. It's like people who wait, and then, like, when their opponent sets more back row, then they're like, no, I'll attack. Like, why didn't you attack when they had less back row? Okay. I mean, you're still going to lose, but... Oh, yeah. Because it's fucking Necro's, son. It's like, you, it's like you're done, goof. You're still done. Mm. See, cycle is fine because you still got to attribute the, you know, the materials from your hand or field to the equal amount, just like, you know, ritual summon. But then it's stupid because you're Shriet. <laughs> yeah, Shriet is the dumb one. I think if you want to properly hit Necros, you need to go after their big monsters. And I think you honestly need to probably ban Shriet. I'd, I'd say just go after the consistency. I'd say probably Unicorn to one, Brio to one, Shriet to one. Yeah, then, the like I said, then you got the problem of having five million fucking Necros cards on the ban list. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh... Also, uh, did you know that Necros apparently are not the best deck of all time? If we're going about all like all the broke, most brokenest decks in the No, they're get... not the best deck of all time. They're just the best deck currently. Yeah, I know. People are like, they're the best deck of all time. Then uh, Lithium 2300 a while back did a... Uh, cross banless video like a tournament and guess what the final two decks were that faced each other what dragon rulers and spellbots with judgment and uh spellbots with judgment won i'd still say dragon rulers is a stronger deck i would still say two but it's just funny necros were in round one they got beat <laughs> they got fucking beat even infernity's full power made it to like round two mm. I'm surprised Infinity's actually didn't get, like, to the fucking just before the finals. Okay. Alright, well, that was a bad duel. That was a bad duel. They were bad. <laughs> they were awful, and they, one nearly had 4,000 experience, like... Oh, the pain. <laughs> oh. Hey. Like, don't, don't you ever wish you could just unplug your brain and just take it out? <laughs> I, I, I seriously wish I could when I do these videos. We just unplug the brain, put it to the side, and just I can watch this and not care. Oh, someone's got a message. No, that's just my phone being stupid. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's just my phone being stupid. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and call that. So, of course, you know, with the new changes, uh, despite at first I was saying, like, you know, while uh, when my live videos is down, we're going to get two DM do commentaries a week now. I uh, got the webcam. We're going to be doing more things with uh, the nice HD webcam that's taped to my computer. 
You had to what? Yeah, it's taped to my computer. <gasps> Why I, is it taped? Because I didn't know how to connect it to my computer, so I just took out a roll of tape and just taped it to my computer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you're so bad. Like, yes, you're I so... finally got a good webcam. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I got a good webcam, and it comes with an actual clip in that. No, fuck that. Where's the solid tape, bro? Yep. <laughs> So uh, we're gonna be <laughs> oh. gonna be doing you know webcam duels. We're gonna get back to doing webcam duels, of course, with a nice HD 1080p 60 frames per second webcam that Stondi recommended and I picked up. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we're gonna be doing top fives again, you know, without Rennie. The problem with doing top fives is that you know I gotta do my top five and Rennie has to do his top five, and then you know we'll have sometimes butt heads. So I'll probably do top fives just the webcam, so that'll be fine. But uh, yeah, so Thursday instead of actually be being an additional Deandro commentary, it's going to be a live video, so uh, only one Deandro commentary per week, but like I said, this video is a half an hour long, so <laughs> I think that's yeah. good, right? So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed, so uh, I hope that you guys are enjoying the changes so far, and that fact that I'm back, so thank you, Stanzi, for joining me. No problem. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, see you guys um, next week with some more Deandro commentary. Alright, people, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.